What's up? Peter from Panda here. Hey, bought myself this Move and Groove Bluetooth headphones. So uh, I just wanted to show them to you because I've been looking for a pair of headphones. You know, while I'm mowing the lawn or killing time, it's uh, important to me to have a pair of headphones. I certainly have earbuds, but one of the things I was looking for is an over the ear pair of headphones. One, to drown out sound better. Um, but then also to make sure that I don't disturb people that might be near me on a train or in the coffee shop or what have you. And then it was also important for me to have something with a microphone in case I got a phone call. So here are the headphones. They are, you know, over the ear cups here, pretty nicely padded. Um, your whole ear is going to kind of press against this. This little uh, padding here should create a pretty nice seal. They're fairly light, plastic housing here. Uh, the earphones themselves pivot on the headband portion on both sides. See the wire here. And then the headband itself has kind of this fabric, padded fabric covering all the way around. It's actually pretty nice. It reminds me a lot of the uh, seat cover material that's in my GMC terrain. It actually feels a lot like football jersey. You know, it's kind of a, a synthetic, but it seems pretty tough, but it has kind of a nice soft texture. Anyway, hopefully that that helps. And then M and G on the side, and then the headphones look like they adjust the size right at the base of the headphone. So you should get a nice, good fit around your head to regardless of what size your noggin is. And you actually have this nice little velvet pouch with MG embroidered on it, so that's kind of cool. These fold up into the head, the headband here, and then they should just fit right into the bag. So that's cool. Pull closure. Very cool. Pretty small. You know, overall, I think they'd be easy to travel with, easy to live with. So, pretty excited about that. And then, it does come with some cords here. So you've got a micro USB to USB for charging, and then you have a dual male three and a half millimeter headphone cord. So the cool thing here is, even though they are Bluetooth, you can also put a line in, you charge here. Uh, looks like you can put in your own memory card and listen to music or your playlist on that. Volume up and down, presumably, and forward and back. Controls there. And the microphone power looks like an LED light here. And then play, pause, mute. So depending on your, if you're on phone or music. So let me see here if these are already charged. And it looks like they are. A little blue light comes on. And it looks like, because I have never paired this, it's automatically going to go to pairing mode. And let's see if we can get this sucker paired. Rock and groove right there. Hit that. And I heard, I don't know if you could hear that, but it said connected successfully. Never asked me for a code or anything like that. And now if we go to a little music, I think I have O Canada up by Nikki Yanofsky, who's smoking hot and super talented. And I could definitely hear it. And I wish I could share this with you a little bit better here. So, clearly playing out of there. Little songs of the US Navy here. And I'm gonna hit the play pause here. And the play pause here does pause the music. Plays it again. And then you've got forward back here. If I try going to a playlist. And then hit. Cool. I can go forward. And I can go back. So you've got full control over, in this case, an iOS device. I would assume uh, a very similar control for Android. So should have no problems there. Um, like I said, 
line in if you don't want to use Bluetooth. Now I went ahead and took a few minutes to listen to some jams and I want to talk to you about the quality of the headphones and I'm pretty impressed. Uh, you know, again, for headphones um, that don't advertise a really prestigious brand, sometimes you worry a little bit, but uh, you know, I've listened and used a lot of headphones from Bose to Beats and some of the no-name brand ones that I've had laying around. And these are really nice. Uh, the, the sound quality is pretty good. It's kind of right in the middle of everything. The treble is kind of right on point, bass. Um, you know, I listened to some music and, uh, you know, it, it kind of caught uh, the whole range of notes very well and delivered it without a lot of distortion. Um, or kind of, you know, biased to the higher the low end. I also listen to one of my podcasts, which is generally just audio talking, and then um, that also was very nicely done. You know, in my car, I noticed that I have to switch between uh, equalizer settings from, say, rock to flat, depending on if I'm listening to talk radio or music. In this case, there was no way to change those audio settings, and I thought everything um, sounded really, really good. So uh, really impressed with the, the audio quality out of these headphones as well. Now, the other thing I want to test is whether I can make a call, use this microphone when I'm listening to music and say a call comes in when I pair it to my iPhone. So I'm going to give that a shot right now. All right, so I have the headphones on and I have them paired to my iPhone here. I'm going to make a call here and see if um, the microphone works decently as a tool to take a call with these headphones on. Dialing now. Hey babe, it's me. Can you hear me okay? Oh good. Phone call, call quality is pretty good. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. So there we go. She couldn't tell that I was using a headset. So if you're listening to music with these Move & Groove Bluetooth headphones and a call comes through, go ahead and answer it and uh, take the call right through your headphones. So the sound quality for me was fantastic uh, and uh, the sound quality for her was just fine using the microphone which is right over here on this headset. So uh, the Move & Groove Bluetooth headphones, I'm pretty, pretty psyched with them and uh, they're going to be my companion on pretty much all my commutes and trips. Peter Von Panda. Out.